that guys it's me Sharon and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna do chit chats and latte grab your tea grab your coffee uh, I would tell you to grab a glass of wine but right now here where I am on this rainy and gloomy day it is 9 o'clock in the morning so um, hopefully you won't be grabbing a glass of wine but <laughs> juice coffee tea whatever you drink in the mornings to get yourself going some people drink Pepsi my mother used to drink Pepsi she was a coffee drinker but like in the summertime because we lived in the southwest it was so hot she would drink Pepsi in the morning she'd have a glass of Pepsi with a lot of ice <laughs> and that's how and um, that's how she got it going in the morning when I was younger I did too if you've been if you've been subscribed to my channel you're aware that I'm also a realtor I'm a realtor by day that's one of the many hats that I wear <laughs> I enjoy it I like it um, it has changed tremendously um, because the economy does so real estate and finance ebbs and flows much like a relationship it ebbs and flows sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad I work with sellers I work with buyers and I work with renters the rental market has taken off here in the Northeast. Um, rentals are, are doing quite well, actually. I think because of the economy, um, because of the, the, the conditions, the climate, the financial climate, um, um, the, you know, with the interest rates going up and it being harder to qualify for a loan, a lot of people who would put their houses on the market don't. People who want to buy can't qualify because again, the 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 rates have changed. Real estate is local. It's very local. Um, your area that you're currently living in is going to be very different from the the um, the community across town. Get yourself a good realtor and find out what's going on in your particular area. Because again, as I said before, real estate is local. I watch YouTube more than I watch television. There's so much news. We've got to handle this in another installment of Ain't Nobody Got Time For That. I like Trevor. I, I, I don't watch him as much as I used to watch Jon Stewart, but I like him. I've always enjoyed crafts. I always enjoy doing those kind of things. So, to me, um, this is pretty cool. Being able to do DIY by film. Um, I enjoy it. I do. I wish it was something I had done sooner. I had been looking and looking and looking and researching and watching and dreaming from afar. And my favorite YouTuber in the whole wide world is at home with Nikki. She's my big sister in my mind. In my mind, she's my big sister. I love her channel. I tell you, she did this one video where she organized her refrigerator and I fell in love. I was like, oh my gosh, she gets me. She gets me. I had one of those, I had one of those moments. And um, who is my second? Would have to be Liz Hart. Shout out to At Home With Nikki. And shout out to Miss Liz Hart. Those are two of my favorite YouTubers. I watch them constantly. They always get, they're always getting my thumbs up. They're always getting my viewership. And I sit and I actually let the ads play, people. Let the ads play. Let, I know they're a pain in the butt and you don't want to hear the ads and you don't want to be involved with that. But really, that makes a difference for our channels. Let the ads play. And then watch your show. Um... Yeah, those are two of my favorite. There was a third favorite, but not so much now. But yeah, it's it's been fun. The cooking segments I enjoy. Um, you're going to see more of those. Um, when I first started, I was struggling to come up with creativity because I was going through, and I'm still going through, some personal changes in my life. And um, But I'm coming out. I'm coming out on the other end, and that's why you hear me say, take this journey with me so often. And I've gone through some stuff. I've gone through some trials and tribulations in my life, in my world. It's crazy. I think that you all would be surprised if you knew some of the things that, uh, 
some of the things I've gone through. I guess I wouldn't. I guess you'd probably say the same thing, girl. <laughs> if you live long enough, you go through some things. And let me tell you, I've gone through some things. Especially here in the last two years. And the last two years have been really tough. I'm not going to say the toughest because the toughest probably was when I lost my mother. And that was a while ago. It doesn't feel like yesterday. But it feels like it's a hole that it's a wound that never heals. Both my parents are now gone. It's not something I'm really ready to speak about yet. Maybe one day. But not right now. But I do. I thank everybody who subscribed. I think. I thank everyone who has subscribed and I thank everyone who has uh, taken this journey with me. Um, I do, you know, you hear a lot of YouTubers say they want to keep their channel positive and I do because I feel like who's got time for negativity? Who wants to, nope, I, I try to keep it positive because who wants, who has time for the, the negativity? Nobody wants to tune, I don't. That's one of the reasons I don't watch television anymore. That's rarely, that's one of the reasons I, I rarely ever watch the news. I record my shows, don't get me wrong. I re record Scandal, How to Get Away with Murder. Um, I am such a romantic at heart. I, I record most of the Hallmark movies. I know that's sappy. Everybody tells me it's sappy, but you know, I'm, I don't know. I like romantic movies. I do. I record Blackish. I record, um, oh, The Real. I like The Real. I enjoy The Real. I love the murder mystery ones. I was saying my mother liked murder mysteries. I, my mother liked murder mysteries and I believe that's where I got it from. Um, she uh, used to watch, um, how to get, nah, how to get away No, what was it called? It was Magnum P.I. and, oh my goodness, Matlock. And I forgot what the other one, there was another one. It's, it's, it's a, um, an older lady. Oh my gosh, I can't think of her name. Somebody put it down in the description box. I, it's right on the tip of my tongue, but I cannot come up with it. Anyway, I like Garage Sale Mysteries. Um, Greenleaf. I record Greenleaf. Um, um, and for Pete's sake, Holly Robinson. I, I watched that reality show. I think that's interesting. Um, but other than that, that's... I think that's pretty much it. And I think I, I enjoy the recording aspects of cable, even though I hate the cable bill and I think it's a rip. I think it's it's a rip off, but I do enjoy the ability to record a show and watch it at my leisure. I put it on my schedule and, and, and fit it and work it into my life. And that's one of the things I like about YouTube so much is that, you know, when Nikki puts up a video, um, I know I need to watch like within the first 72 hours because the first 72 hours, is pivotal. Letting the ads play and watching it within the first 72 hours is what's most beneficial for YouTubers. So if you guys didn't know that, take that to heart and know that uh, if you, with your favorite YouTubers, when you get that notification, make sure you click that notification bell. When you get that notification, watch it within the first 72 hours. Let the ads play. It makes a difference. It does. If I'm a mom, I'm, 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 a, I'm a dog mom. I have a business and I'm a um, a vlogger. So it, it I'm busy. But yeah, you have to make time for the things that you enjoy. You know, if you're a girl who likes to go and get her hair done, you have to make time for that. And it's hard. It is when you're a mom and a wife and, and um, you run businesses, the spa. That's something that, you know, yeah, I, I, I make sugar scrubs and body scrubs and things like that for myself. And I have to say, they're pretty awesome. But every now and then you do need to go and it's fun to go and have a glass of wine and get the massage and all that, you know, the, the couple's massage and all those things. That's, that's, that's fantastic. And you have to make time for those type of things. So, you know, I say pick and choose what's most important to you, but treat yourself. I am still honing, learning to make sure that I take time for sharing. Making sure that my needs are met. Making sure that I pamper me. That's important. Uh, Cause I went through a period, especially when my children were smaller, I went through a, a period where, you know, 
being an executive and in taking care of little ones and taking Perfect. care of teenagers and running a business and being a wife is hard. It can be very difficult. And oftentimes I found myself neglecting me so that everybody else's needs could be met. I had to deal with people not valuing what I did for a living because I work from home that it's not work. You know, that thing, it's, it, it's not work. Um, it's like being an at-home mom, that because you're at home, somehow what you're doing is less valuable than what everyone else is doing. But what it is you're putting into those children is invaluable and there is no pay for it. There is not enough. You know, that's like, you know, the, the people who have the most important job in the world gets paid the least. Moms, teachers, moms who work from home, <laughs> they don't get the appreciation. I guess I say that to say I've learned to manage my time and to, in a way that allows me to wear all the different hats that I wear and be somewhat successful at it. I say somewhat because I'm never ever, and I'll probably never ever quite feel completely, I'll probably never ever feel completely satisfied. I always feel like I could have did more. I always feel like I could have did better. You know, that syndrome that we women, not not that you men don't feel it too, but I'm just speaking from the, the aspect, from the point of a woman. We as women sometimes feel that uh, it's not enough. We haven't done enough. You should do more. Oh, I battled with that one. I don't have that problem anymore. I used to have that problem. I don't have that problem anymore. I ain't killing myself for nobody. I ain't killing myself for nobody. I did that when my kids were little and they couldn't help themselves. But now, I do what I need to do. And I make sure that I take time for sharing. <laughs> and if you can't respect that, if you can't understand that, if you can't appreciate that I can't give to you unless I give to me, I have to feel myself first. And once I'm filled, then I have more to give to you. And if you can't understand that or appreciate that, then that's on you. That's on you. Just saying. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I had to heat up the latte. My latte had gotten cold. Can't have that. I do not do cold coffee. I don't know how you guys out there drink the iced coffees. I can't do it. It makes my stomach hurt. I'm really funny that way. I don't like cold coffee. I don't like coffee ice cream. I don't like iced coffee. I don't like any kind of coffee that is cold. But I love me some lattes. Um, this one is creme brulee. The flavor is a creme brulee. And um, it's a mix. I actually mix a creme brulee with a hazelnut with frothy milk and sugar. Love it. My favorite. I pretty much drink this one every morning, but I only have one cup because I can't do too much caffeine. Um, bothers me. I have a sensitive skin. I have a sensitive system. I can't have too much coffee because it will affect my ability to sleep at night. Same thing with um, carbonate, not carbonated drinks, but caffeinated drinks. I can't have caffeinated drinks like coffee. I can't have coffee past um, 10.30. After about 10.30 in the morning, that's it, or I'm not going to sleep tonight. Same thing with caffeinated drinks. Um, I can't have my caffeinated drinks past about, mm, like after lunch. I don't mess around with caffeinated drinks after noonish. period. Or it affects my ability to sleep. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is the first vlog I've ever done. First chit chat I've ever done. And I hope it wasn't too long. And I hope I didn't ramble too much. And I hope you enjoyed it. I really do. I hope you enjoyed it. So I say stay tuned for the upcoming DIY projects I have coming that are on the way. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. Again, that lets you know when I upload a video. I upload new videos every week between Tuesday and Wednesday. It's important that you, it's important that you let the videos play through the commercials. 
And it's important that you watch the video within the first 72 hours. It helps not just me, but all of us YouTubers a lot. Just in case, if you didn't know, just be aware. And on that note, I say thanks again, enjoy your day, the rest of your latte, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Mm-hmm.